Some 80 AMNO youth members carried on a protest against opposition leader Datuk Sri Anwar Ibrahim, condemning his remarks for allegedly defending Israel's security. Its youth wing secretary, Datuk Megat Firdaus Megat Jonit, says Anwar's statement has offended the Muslims, particularly the Palestinians who are being victimized by the Israel government. Media reports stated that Anwar told the Wall Street Journal in an interview that he supported all efforts to protect the security of the State of Israel. Anwar later clarifies that his remarks on Israel supported a two-state solution with Palestine, which was recognized by Malaysia and the United Nations. Meanwhile, more than 200 past youth members and supporters gathered outside the United States Embassy in Kuala Lumpur after Friday prayers to protest burning of Quran in Afghanistan by NATO troops. Its chief, Nasruddin Hassan, says the party also submitted a memorandum as a protest to urge the U.S. government to take proper action against those involved. Dan kita minta supaya tentera yang bertanggungjawab membakar Al-Quran itu diambil tindakan oleh pihak kerajaan Amerika. Mohon maaf saja tidak cukup kerana ini telah berulang kali. Ini entah kali keberapa. Jadi saya harap suara ini akan sampai kepada mereka. On Tuesday, the U.S. commander in Afghanistan, General John R. Allen, was reported to have apologized and ordered an investigation into alleged improper disposal of Islamic religious materials, including copies of the Holy Quran by NATO troops in the Islamic country.